Xander, the five-year-old Australian Shepherd and the subject of an animal abuse case, has finally received a new home. And just, he's going to be loved just, just so much. It's just an amazing, amazing thing. In June of 2021, the Johnson County Animal Shelter has been taking care of Xander after a McGoffin County man was sentenced for committing sexual crimes against his dog. Following the latest sentencing, Johnson County Shelter staff were able to find Xander a new place to live. His new family is amazing. Um, they drove five hours to pick up Xander. They knew his past um, and that just they're going to just give him the best home. He's, he's got a new um, furry brother that he's got, a, a, a cat sibling, and just he's going to be loved just, just so much. In 2012, Eastern Kentucky was devastated by tornadoes. Within days, people in Western Kentucky stepped up to help the people of our region. Pikeville Medical Center is a Christian organization committed to helping others, and that includes our neighbors in Western Kentucky. Our commitment goes far beyond those who come to our hospital for treatment. That sentiment is echoed from all of us at Double Quick. The need is great right now in Western Kentucky, and we know the people of Eastern Kentucky are ready and willing to help. During this season of giving, please consider donating to those who have found themselves with nothing just days before Christmas. In-person donations can be made to all Pikeville Medical Center facilities and the register at all Double Quick locations. To donate online, go to www.givetopmc.org. In December, following the sentencing, Johnson County Animal Shelter reached out to their friends, Niagara Dog Rescue, to find Xander a new home, as due to Xander's past, they had to find the right family. I can tell you that um, I've been working with um, Lisa at the Johnson County Shelter for two years now. She's been my rescue partner, one of them. Um, I've been pulling dogs out of Kentucky and all together in a rescue, we've saved over 5,000 dogs. Um, for similar stories to Xander, ones that were left on death row or very abused. Um, my first interview was with his uh, doctor, Briar, who has him now. Um, and she was so compassionate and loving and said what had happened to him as terrible and traumatic as it was, motivated her even more to provide him with the best life that she possibly could. Um, and I did explain, as Danielle mentioned, that it's tough to know when a dog has lived in a shelter for so long, how they would be in a home environment with multiple multiple people with other pets, but she was very, very motivated and said she'll do whatever it takes to be sure that he fits in well in their home um, life. Um, and just to tell you a little bit about them, um, they're a family of four. Um, they have a dog um, and a cat as well. So we settled in really great with his fur siblings. Um, and the adopter, Briar, she works uh, for a horse farm and her daughter works for a microchip company and helps rescue lost pets. Um, so they're very involved in the animal world. So I felt that they were the perfect fit to give him what he deserves. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.